you have scientists in, I think, in most countries <coughs> that, like David King and others, can be explaining to politicians where we are, what is happening, uh, and what is needed. And, and you have civil society active in many, many countries, not only in the Western world, but also uh, in, in developing countries. So the question now is, given the climate issue, which has risen to the awareness in the, you know, in my, in, to the top level of politicians around the world in the last couple of years, uh, two or three years, which leads us to be able to make a conclusion in Copenhagen that is sufficient that the world can move forward in a more broadly uh, conceived and more comprehensive agreement, uh, which is necessary because the Kyoto Protocol covers uh, very few countries. Then we will see in the next 5, 10, 15 years, major change, given the investment of the two decades before these new negotiations were launched. So it could, everything could have gone even further, uh, more quickly, but we have 191 nations, and it's a major challenge to have all of them in some way moving together. Just a short question. Yes, uh, could you just des describe a few disappointments and, uh, and happy or and happy moments on the way? Well, already in '87, we had the Montreal Protocol. A about the time when the, we delivered our report, the Montreal Protocol was agreed, and. Uh, the fact that uh, we got the Climate Convention and the Biodiversity and the Agenda 21 in Rio, I felt were major breakthroughs, and it had taken only five years. So, but then, of course, uh, the, the 90s had setbacks, uh, and there was financial crisis. The, you remember the Asian crisis? Um, and... Uh, we had a political situation uh, th then uh, from the end of the uh, 90s with uh, the Iraq war and uh, with a Bush administration that uh, denied, after Clinton had supported the Kyoto Convention, denied the reality of, of the crisis and of the science. So we had setbacks of that uh, nature and that was disappointment over those years, where very little happened uh, at the global level. Things were happening still in many countries, moving forward to try to make better decisions on energy, on climate. So it was not a stop for all, but we didn't get global commitment moving forward. 